Good evening, everybody. We are live yet again. Coming at you with another video. Ooh. Hey, oh. everybody. How is everybody doing? We've got quite the show for you guys tonight. Uh, <laughs> Matt you Barr. You say that every fucking... I do. That's like the intro. That, you know, things like people like repetition, Vicky. That's uh, the point. I hate repetition. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. The only Sorry. repetition I, I hate I... is the fact that your heart keeps ticking, Vicky. <laughs> Fucking drives me insane. Just die. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got quite the show for you guys tonight. Woo! Round of applause. Uh, <laughs> Matt Barr was kicked out of Comic Skate. Yeah. Um, that's a thing. Ethan finally it's... declared that he is the boss of Comic Skate. After how long? Which. Everybody outside of CG has been saying. Uh, and most people in CG have, been, well, have known. Yeah, but the people that were saying he's not were just repeating what he's always uh, falsely stated previously. Yes. So that's interesting. Um, and we got uh, some Mike Wheeler stuff with Wiggle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not too caught up on that that's really more vicky's thing i cannot watch mike wheeler god uh you know about as disgusting looking as ethan <laughs> oh worse mm. i think not nearly like, as like, charismatic uh, yeah not that's as charismatic sure. um less charismatic than fucking donald delay he's less charismatic than finn and uh that's, well, uh, I I wouldn't say that. I would say Finn has some charisma. We are, we, I, the way that you worded that made it sound like you were going to say, I mean, Wheeler has more charisma than that. I wouldn't put it that way. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no. Uh, Wiggle versus Mike Wheeler. Wheeler. And uh, some Rip Ascend stuff, guys. A uh, Ripaverse is opening his own fulfillment business. Jesus so that's a thing. Christ. That's a thing. And we're also going to talk a little bit about Scout Comics. Yeah, whatever that is. Whatever. Has no idea. Whatever that is. I don't give a shit about comic books. That's not why I'm here. I'm here. I know, Dean. I'm here to bully nerds. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're just to bully nerds. <laughs> Speaking of bullying nerds, there goes our mascot. There he goes. Uh, but uh, my, I love that fucking bear. I love that song. F fuck, fuck the sure. bipolar bear. That song. That song slap. Like uh, Wheeler is gross in every way. You want to know what I don't understand about the Wheelers? And I've said this to a couple people. Uh, this is kind of a rant that I've said multiple times just in private. Uh, wheelers, the wheelers, they're always like plotting and scheming something. And for, yes. and for what, dude? Like, you're in the slums. There's no point. Like, it's not going to get you anywhere. Slum. Yeah, they're not even in the slums. Really. Yeah, but I know. But that's where they're scheming. You know what I mean? Like a... They go yeah. around like the slum yeah, channels, and it's like for what? Slums. For what? Yeah. Like, uh, I, look around. I, it's not gonna get you I, anywhere. I, it's, okay. it's it's just like so much effort. That's we, just. Taylor told me today he's here to clean up Comics Gate once and for all, everybody. Yes. But why? Like, I like don't first of all, no, you know. you're not gonna do it. Like you're just not. <laughs> Secondly, I like uh, like maybe clean up yourself. Like take a shower, bro. You look gross. And I hate yeah. Comics Gate. You know, like fuck. Man, clean like, up, fuck. I mean, up. I don't hate Comics Gate, but I I, I, I don't do? I don't like Comics Gate, like, but what's, like what's... yeah. But who who's gonna listen to fucking Mike Wheeler? Yeah. Who, who indeed, like, 
It's just he's gonna get all the guys on this. He he gonna PTP the slums. <laughs> like <laughs> I mean, who's his, who's gonna be his pay piggins? Is it uh... <laughs> Mindy? I don't know. But fuck, I mean that's not gonna work. Yeah. It's just, like, there's just no point in, like, all this weird scheming. Like, it's just wasted effort. You're not going to get anywhere. This is the slums. I mean, not yeah. us. We're not the slums. <laughs> but, like, where you slums. guys are is the slums. It's just... <laughs> it's it's just you, stupid. It's, where you are. Well, I mean, where he... Like, I don't mean that as, like, an insult. It's just like where they're doing like all their interactions. They go to the slum channels. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah it wasn't like an insult. Like where you are, although like where Wheeler uh -huh. is, is nowhere I want to fucking be. That's for sure. But Wheeler's probably yeah. at a hometown buffet. One of the last ones still open. <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> Let's, Hello, uh, Kate. <laughs> what is going on, Kate? Uh, Let's see. Let's just read some of the chat first before we start. We're going to uh, introduce Wheeler, uh, but before we do that, nothing interesting was ever said in the chat. Okay, cool. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just ever. go ahead. Ever. You guys and everything. Oh, real quick. I... Mm -hmm. Sorry. No. Um, I, still, I still have the... Uh... The cold that I've been trying to get rid of since October, so I apologize if I, you know, don't mute fast enough when I'm coughing. You should just apologize for not being mute. Like... Oh, fuck, Dean. Just... What, are you going to talk about Scout Comics on your own? <laughs> no, preferably we just don't talk about nerd <laughs> shit. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, all right, so this is uh, Mike Wheeler. Uh, he bitched that we didn't warn him about Vic King. So let's listen to that. Yeah, that's what we felt. Yeah, we, we were shocked. Like, I mean, Vicky hmm. didn't even give me a fucking heads up. And I, I bitched at her hmm. earlier for that. I said, that is weird. dude, you knew this shit was coming. And she's like, well, I okay, didn't know guys, you had a cover for your like, campaign. I don't and I'm know. like, still, like, uh, I mean, give me give one people a heads up. You know? There's things that I can't say. For some reason, that did not play sound. Let's try it again. It's not the right video either. Never mind. Well, well, it says Wheeler bitchin'. Like that was the. That might be the wrong one. Oh, thank, thanks. Ah. Yeah, that's what we felt. I'm thank sorry. you. Yeah, we, uh, we were okay. shocked. Anyways, like, I mean, Vicky didn't even give me a yeah, fucking heads up, and I, I bitched her. So what is sorry, this one? I said, dude, you I don't knew even this remember. shit. Was that's old. She's like, well, I didn't know he had. Piper. Wow. Yeah, that's really. Sorry, wrong. guys. Wow. Jeez. Sorry, it's I, it, it's been a struggle for me all fucking day long. I tell you. Like it is. This has just been rough. Um, oh. So, oh. So, sound was working, just not for us. Okay. Well, that's cool. Okay. Anyway, um, after uh, after our stream last week, uh, and it was the right one, Vicky. So, um, he went on to he he showed up in my DMs, and the only reason I'm mentioning that he showed up in my DMs was because he went on stream to talk about this. And he comes into my DMs all bluster because I didn't give him a heads up about Vic. Like we told anybody. Like I, I owed I mean... Wheeler. Like I fucking owed Mike Wheeler a heads up. Like, about Vic King. You would have gotten a heads up like about 24 hours before the stream when we had finally like gone done vetting it. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so this is uh Right. Uh, what's uh what's up with this uh Wheeler video we're about to watch though? Could you uh... Yeah. Um and just so you guys know the black and white with the monochrome monochromatic portion of the stream is what Mindy cut out of her video. Most of this is her video. Um, I did um, have to chop some stuff out of it for fair use at the beginning. Just a warning. Um, and then I didn't play, you know, it's not the whole video. But what's but it the about? Stuff that is mon 
Um, it's all self-explanatory. Well, then let's watch it. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good statement. Like, I, 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 you did a good one with that one. I, I, I'm not even going to lie. I took parts of a statement and put it in mind. It was a good statement. You plagiarized Mike Dark. <laughs> shame on you. No, I, I told, Dark told me he was going to, and I said, that's fine. You know, I'm, I'm actually flattered. Thanks for thinking I did it so well. So he was doing work for you? So I was right. I was right what I said yesterday. Yeah, said he, he, right. um, he did a cover for us. Well, imagine that, man. You make a degenerate comic book and you attract degenerates. Amazing. I'm so shocked. There's no fucking way that happened. A degenerate comic book. Yes. I, I, I think your comic book is degenerate as shit. Well, really? I don't think that was, I, I don't think that was the one he did. Uh, yeah, I don't think he did it for a different book. Um, it's a Toy I don't, Story I don't parody. hold back, Mike. Well, that's fine. I never expected you to. Yeah, um, I don't. That's have you read point. any of my stuff? Yeah, I've seen enough of it. I, I've seen, seen the shit you, you have out there. I'm cool. I'm cool. Well, you haven't cool. read it. You it's gotta read it's it. not it's something I can hand my kid, man. It's a degenerate book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Mm. I'm revered with that. And he tried, he, he tried to destroy my reverence. Getting me yes. so. I did not stutter. Yes, your book is degenerate. I'm an important <clears throat> member of the community. <laughs> God he just got me themselves. That's awesome. Cool. Queriedom okay. is degenerate, says Moabix. <laughs> it is. It is degenerate. It's super degenerate. <laughs> uh, ever wondered who will be the next sex pest outed from Comics Gate? Ooh, if I had to put my money on it, if uh, you want my honest opinion, like if I had to put money down, like, like right now, money, money, money. Right. I'm going to go Thanks. with. Here's the stuff I got just behind Who me. Who do you think is going to be what? the next pedo outed by Comic oh, What a Larry. shitty thing to just ask. <laughs> like, Fred, like that's. Who do you think's like the. Like, are we taking bets on who the next pedo is? Actually, I mean, that is funny. But. But, like, as a serious question. Yeah. That's fucked up. <laughs> like, that is it's fucked true. up. Okay. Like, if I was making a joke, like, hey, let's take bets, you know, that's one thing. But, like, to be like, so who do you think's the next pedo? Like, a. Like, that's fucked up. Right. Well, the best part is she's not paying any fucking attention, right? And she, so she turns back and looks at to, to grab this shit. She doesn't, she's not listening to him. She's not listening to him, him say, you know, I guess he was reading a chat. Um, you know, it's that they're taking bets on who's going to be the next pedo. But she doesn't know that. He just asks her who's going to be the next pedo outed. Yeah. Right? Like he totally drops that bit and she jumps straight into like, did you stop it? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and play it. No, he's not comic skate. Larry. Well, he sure tries to pretend they have to be with Larry. I'm gonna go yeah. with. Yeah. That's a stain you'll never be washed off. You're just saying that stuff, Larry, because I told you that you would always go down in history as a Ben Dunn supporter, which you still obviously do, and everybody knows. Whereas I'm gonna go with Wiggle. Wow. I'm gonna go with Wiggle. Wow. If I had to put money down, I'm gonna go with Wiggle. That's fine. He was yeah. waiting so long to fucking oh. say that. Oh no! Holy shit! This this is gonna be a long night. Fuck you, pet bow. Pick that pet out. What's going on, man? Chill, dog. It's pretty fucking gross. It's fucking disturbing, man. It is. I, I just want to get you. I just want everybody so to understand like who this too. is. This Mike Wheeler guy and like where what? he's, you know, where his he's mind's at before we really get into this.
You know who has more balls than Mike Wheeler? Mindy Wheeler. Yeah. And she's the one in the chat. Her cuck husband is not here. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what a little bitch. You sent your wife here? What a fucking dirtbag. Mindy, Mind, Mindy's like pretty reasonable. All right, yeah. I'm going to bring in this fucking retard. Mindy put this fucking video together. Am I retarded? I do love that clip, though. That is a funny clip. It is. A so what's retarded. going on? What's that? I mean, you know, it was going pretty good till your your piece of shit husband accused me of being a pedo. Uh, it, are we all just like oh, taking the internet seriously, though? Oh, like <laughs> you know, I know. I, you guys, are, everybody You're throws things at that each that other. You You're gonna laugh. I don't about even. That, you cunt? That's oh, yeah, what I really you, don't, dude? I really don't care what you guys sling at each other online. Then why online. are you here? Then why are you here? If you don't care what I think, why do you give a shit if I call your comic book degenerate? Who said that I cared? Who said Obviously that by me being do. here cared? Obviously you do. I just thought a job on was kind of entertaining. You're, 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 you got, I gotta give you credit though, you got a lot more balls than your husband does. Cause he, you're here and he's not. Oh, he's sitting right next to me, he can hear you. Okay, I just why, why are, wow, he's just I, sitting there listening, like a cuck. <laughs> yeah, like a fucking like a cuck. cuck. No, oh, that's rough. Yeah, I don't even like like Wiggle or the slums people, but 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 that's Mike like Wheeler so is a cuck right it. now. Like uh, that is cuck behavior. You're just gonna sit yeah. there and watch while your wife does all the action or with other men. She was in the fucking chat for like an hour trying to get on the stream yeah. yeah so this isn't like i mean that's a whole big old chunk of this stream that she you know, obviously didn't make it into her her little 20 minute video but yeah she didn't mention it either she was literally in the she was just wait, hate, sitting there in the chat arguing and wanting to come on <laughs> yeah uh, like Rizy says uh sitting there Watch other men fighting with his wife. Cuck behavior. Yeah. Mindy thought uh, threats of violence against a woman were hilarious, but she is reasonable. Yeah, no, like, uh, it wasn't a joke, though. Like, I could, like, you know, uh, calling somebody a pedo is never a joke. But, like, if it was said in, like, a joking cadence, I would kind of give a little bit of wiggle room. But, no, he just said... Uh, I bet the next pedo will be uh, Wiggle. Not oh, even he like, was, there's no yeah. wiggle room for a joke. Like, uh, it, it was just a no statement said room. seriously. Like, uh, an opinion statement said seriously. That's fucked. Yeah. That's pretty fucked. I think you guys care a lot more about us than we care. Like, I really don't. Oh, really? I, I'm really really happy you talking about us. Oh, well, that's yeah. cool. You're going to make accusations of people. I said... I bet who would be next. My bet was you. Yeah, I think so. Wow, this is what I'm talking about, man. What a slime ball. So the guy with the degenerate, the, the disgusting, nasty book mm. that is a porn book. Mm, it's it's, it's not a porn book, though. That's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. That's a, All right, that's fine. A little, I'll, I'll I talk. Finatra, I think Finatra nailed it on the head right there. What? You, but you guys, you I know, just want to point out. No, for, amazing. I would Pretty love amazing. to. I would love to educate y'all a little bit because um, CG educate seems to be so disconnected. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, I mean I it in the nicest way. Calling people pedos hey. and accusing hey. people hey. of being hey. pedos. All right, hold on, hold on. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will put you in the back. This is my fucking no. show, not yours. Can I, can I just say something before What's this? Like, that? no. I, 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 I don't have the uh, the stamina for like the, the the blood sports here. I will say this to uh, Mindy and Mike. Like, like I said, I was like, you know, you say you know we're just throwing stuff at. This is raw, and like that was. I have to say that was a step too far. Uh, I'm not going to say you can't defend yourself to. To, to to wiggle for calling your book degenerate and giving Mike a hard time, that's all fine. I just, I can't right now. This is uh, this is too much, you know, the, the whole pedo thing is, is throwing around is too much for me right now. And uh, 
I'm just going to dip off because I, I, I just can't right now. If we're going to sit here and talk about who's calling who pedos and stuff, I just, I got to, I got to jump off. No problem. All right, Anthony. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you. You have a good night. You too. All right. <clears throat> now, let me, let me get back to the stupidness. Hold on a minute. Let me uh, check my notes. So we got... <laughs> See how Are serious it is? It? It's a very serious topic. Yes. It's not something to be fucking joked about. It's yeah, you don't, you don't be... joke about, like, accusing people of being the next potential pedophile, you chuckle fuck. Uh, but to be fair, none of these people have called Sheila out for, uh, you know, uh, falsely stating that uh, I have... accusing you of uploading child. Not just that. Hacking her computer... Get child, her child porn. Yeah. Uh, nobody, nobody in CG. Most people, minus one person, most people have completely ignored it because they're like, yeah, that's bullshit. But nobody in Comics Gate has yet to call it out. But, but I still stand with Wiggle. <laughs> I stand with Wiggle. Fuck you, pet foul. <laughs> Pick that pet up. Hold on, man. Chill, dog. And then, and then sit there and cry yeah, no, like that's you're the victim. A, that's you faggot. What, what Matt Barr was doing was not joking about someone being a pedophile. Making jokes about killing pedophiles is a completely different thing, in my opinion. Yeah. Just saying. I mean, even if it's not a joke, if you're just talking about, you know, like killing if somebody said that's, uh, that's pe okay. pedophiles should be shot, you know, uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a statement that many people would agree with, uh, and some people would get yeah. sued for. And, and <laughs> <laughs> all right, like, and, and hide behind your wife's profile, you fucking weirdo. What the fuck are you talking about hiding? I'm sitting right here. Seeing the just seeing I'm you, dude, I haven't been able to eat all day. Like I, I could only eat like a couple vegetables. Like you fat, disgusting. Slob. All right, I'm glad. I'm glad you're so uh, into oh, what yeah, dude, he I says and all. Bugs. But uh, like, for one, he just said for one, I degenerate pieces of yeah. shit. Hey guys, me of being a potential pedo. Yeah, he just funny, said he though. bet it would be whatever. Guys, listen, I'm trying to just come here about the books because um, CG is very disconnected from what happens in the indie realm. In... I think you're disconnected. Hey, There's can a I... reason why the indie hmm. realm has failed miserably and doesn't have million dollar books because you guys are a bunch of degenerate scumbags. <laughs> All right, let me opinion. finish. All right, I'll finish my point. So I'll finish if I can finish my point. Um, I know that you, and that's fine if you think the cheesecake stuff is degenerate. Like, by all means, I don't, I don't give a fuck. But I'm, I'm letting you know that, like, a huge vein of the indie guys outside of CG, that's the norm. And it has been for quite... Shut the fuck up. Oh, let, let me listen vein? to what you That sounds gross. Look, let's, let's hear what Mike vein. Wheeler has to say about me. I hope you do because who is this Larry guy? Every single day, that's Niobe. Larry Higgins sitting up there in Canada. You don't know Niobe? in a mm -mm, bedroom. I don't. The cheesecake guy. He's like kind of a CG waiting on her as well. Mm. Yeah, he defended a bunch of like, pedo shit. Is what Larry? Shut the, the fuck up! You don't you understand. Wish. Is give me a second, Matt. I'll bring you back on, Mindy. What you don't speak unless I say you can speak. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're a bitch. Okay, see, you're not gonna you're not gonna follow my rules. You can just you can just sit in the back there. You're on timeout. Damn. Daddy Wiggle putting putting bitches in timeout. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, there there is some irony in um this. Morg reminded me when Wiggle was uh, siding with testify about Stu. But yeah, that's why it's just all fucked up in many different directions. Regardless, like, it still doesn't like, uh, still doesn't okay. excuse it. I, I enjoy their, their, uh, trying to defend that the statement. cover is, oh. is just cheesecake. Right. Uh, it was a little bit beyond cheesecake. Yeah, the, there's like pussy the, juice, the like like dripping down and cum, like just splattering everywhere. Yeah, and somehow it's shooting out of her 
uh, out of the the robot's asshole. Well, that's because somebody right, clearly splooged in that asshole. Even weirder, Vicky. But, Vicky, somebody splooged in dude, the asshole. Like that's yes, I get that. I okay. get that. But it's it's wearing panties and it's coming. It it's just stupid. Any th- that was completely something she overlooked. But you know, like that's not a normal cheesecake cover. Yeah. Well, they don't know what normal cheesecake is. Uh, as soon as Apparently. cheesecake uh, comes up, fucking Mike Wheeler's just downed it. He didn't even get a chance to see the cheesecake. <laughs> cheesecake. Yeah, he inhaled it. Like, Man, he, like sucked it in cute. from across the room. A whole cheesecake. It's always some sort of scheme and scam with those two. It really is. Yeah. You know? And I don't know. I, it, for me, they're like in the same fucking category as pops, except that they don't beat their dog. This is you know? this is the worst comment there could ever be, uh, Hen. Uh, maybe they're drawing their own sex life. I don't want to think about their sex life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but to be honest, their sex life is probably you know not as bad as I would think uh you know because it doesn't involve mike wheeler uh other than him sitting in a corner watching (laughs) like he just did with his wife on stream yeah that's rough that is rough uh but enough about disgusting wheeler and his disgusting degenerate comic and his disgusting (laughs) degenerate weight uh let's uh let's move on corpulent Mass. Yeah. It, it is gross. It is gross. Uh, it is gross. Finally, uh, to the main topic. I feel like the main topic, uh, at least. Uh, I think it is. Uh, Barr got kicked out of Comic Skate. And without further ado, let's just uh, play the video. Play the video. Yeah, Vicky. Don't don't finish my sentences. Interesting. Two seven four one says I hate Welp. It's just how you say well quickly. Yeah, whelp looks like, uh, you know, whelp. It looks like I'm going to take it in the ass at the dungeon. Whelp. You know, Patrick uh, PTP says whelp. He does those posts. Patrick Tomlinson does those posts, too, where you just go whelp. I call looks it like Yonzi my doing asshole it. is looser. I call it Yonzi doing it. I said no. You got you stop her from doing it. I it's stopped one of these right things. away. I was like, you stop it now before you yeah. end up saying it on YouTube. And then it's over. Yeah, I caught Vicky doing it, and I I slapped her across the face. <laughs> it wasn't actually because of that, but uh, it turns out she also did the whelp thing. So I'm just putting my uh, my violence <laughs> over yeah, Vicky on that. Uh, I just wanted to slap her. All right. I don't it would be over. If she it's it's over. It's yeah. over. That's it. <laughs> you know, you're all, you might as well pack it up. You're an SJW. Hey, Shane Davis. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, Cyberfrog uh, Red Extermination hit six hundred thousand dollars yesterday. I saw that on stream. Is this the wrong video? I, I is did that what see, you're about I to tell me? That live. Congratulations! Oh, that is uh, quite the feat. It know, might be, know, guys. Like, Vicky, Vicky may have things. fucked up. It could be. Everybody's I've had to tell you, it's right. been a fucking day, day, man. Yeah. Well, we're watching this, Vicky. Why don't you try to scramble and find and the right video? Production. Figure collective says invite Matt Barr back. No. Like, he's, uh, why don't you? I threw him out of comics game. Shane, people, you know what's weird? I got people who are comic skaters, but they're like on the fringes of comic skate, like the CG slums. You know what I'm talking about? The CG slums. That is right. Well, is there CG slums? Over. Didn't they take CG out of it? I don't even know anymore. I don't know. But, you know, if they did, Actually, it's because these people go, you know, Ethan thinks he's the boss and he owns Comics Gate, uh, but he doesn't. It's a consumer movement. And I go, yeah. And then they go, Ethan threw me out of Comics Gate. Now, Shane, <clears throat> if I don't own Comics Gate and if I'm not the boss of Comics Gate, why do these people say that I'm not and then also say when they're mad at me that I threw them out of Comics Gate? How could I do that if I'm not the boss? And it's, plus, I don't even know these people exist. Like, I, I don't, like, you know, their little, their problems, like, I'm not aware of them. I don't care. I don't care, Shane. You should. Why? You should care. I, uh, why should I care? I I'm not the boss of them. They're right. 
You're right. No, when the right, the, you know, when you're right, you're right. No, you're not the boss. Either you're I'm the boss, and therefore I should care. Me, EVS. Yeah, that's right. They're like children. Like they're sitting there, like, uh, no, you're not my father, but I need you to be my father. Like at the same time, Shane, I need a father. There's a lot of fatherless behavior. You're not my dad, but I need you to be. Uh, I can't do it. I can't, Shane. You know, I am, uh, I'm just one guy. I Listen, uh, there are three people in the world that call me daddy. Uh, you know, four if you count Andrea. Uh, and that's it. You know, that's all. I mean, I can't, I don't need any more people calling me daddy around here. Yeah. Oh, and I got Eric July calling me big bad booty daddy. He's another one, another fatherless individual who needs me to be his dad. I don't want to be his dad. Christ, man, I would have run away from home, too, if I were his father. I would have been fucking out the door. Oh, my God. Shane, I would have gone out for cigarettes a long time ago. Yeah. A long time ago. Yeah, yeah he would have left faster than his first wife. <laughs> that was fucked. That was fucked. That was fucked. That was kind of fucked. <laughs> yeah. All right, really, listen. really fucked. Uh, I think we talked over the bar being kicked out part, though. Let's just uh, rewind it yeah. just a bit. He's getting a car, right? We're all yep. getting a car. Yeah. Cars all around. Little cars. We got those in production. Figure Collective says, invite Matt Barr back. No. He's, uh, I threw him out of Comics Gate. Shane, people, uh. Well, there you have it. Matt They're... Barr ejected. Yeah. And then Ethan claimed that he is the boss of comic skate and then Even he though for years he's said he's not and um, now he is and and his whole bullshit about consumer movement nobody's called it a fucking consumer movement except for me <laughs> since 20 like 2019 no no people do claim it nobody pretend no they well i guess they do uh they do when uh Maybe. yeah when they're trying to make whatever point that that works for them it hasn't uh, been a consumer movement since ethan joined showed up here so uh, you know uh, he is it, right it's it, not a consumer movement uh despite it's a political the fact action movement Despite the fact that EVS consumes a lot, it is not a consumer movement. <clears throat> he does consume a lot, a lot of content. And then he's talking about the the slums being on the, you know, like the fringes of Comics Gate, like they're not really Comics Gate. And I don't know who any of the, I don't know who any of them are. And you're like, bruh. Been on all their fucking streams. Yeah, that was funny. I can t I can tell you who they are. They're their dark gift, the savior of the Comics Gate trademark. That is true. So dubbed by Ethan, right? Well, just like a, a kind of a fact, like uh, he did kind of yeah. save it. He did kind of save it. I don't even like um, dark gift, but like uh, that is just a fact. Yeah. He Yes, because he managed to uh, obtain a license from Malpica before the deadline to use the damn thing, right? Then you've got a Lazmat. He's been on a Lazmat streams. He got Finn. Sort of. I don't know. Is he allowed on the CG slum streams? I don't know. But he's slums, and Ethan's on his stream, and in his chat, we've got... Um, God, who else is in there? Matt Barr. Matt Barr use, is on Ethan's streams. Was. Um, was, because he's not CG anymore. <laughs> All of, almost everybody in that stupid opening graphic that that's really bad, that Dark Gift made, Ethan's been on their streams. He knows all of them. He knows who all of those tards are. Yeah, no, of course he does. And for him to say, I don't pay attention to the drama, he knows what's going on. What are you talking about, dude? You hop on, like, Finn's stream all the time. For drama. Yeah. Right? You don't pay so, attention to it. like uh, Don't pay attention to it. Dude, we you were, like, hopping slums. on, like, Frog Tony's channel when he first came here, like, uh, like, a month ago. And he, like, 
just yeah. started doing comics. Like, what do you mean you don't pay attention? Like, uh... exactly, right? Yeah. And that dude, yeah, he, yeah, I'll talk about grift. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. God, him and Katie did, dude. But, um, no, I heard, they, uh, course. I heard Katie did's not a fake geek girl. Uh, that's what, uh, Chris Stanley told me. Uh, Chris. Uh, no, I'm right. just joking. Chris Stanley is all, all fuck Katie did. Fuck Katie did. She's I was just a total fake geek girl. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Like, uh, and, and it's, you know, people, they're all tony calling her the queen of cg and you're like oh dude, yeah that's no, that's Miki. no it's mandy <laughs> no 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 it's Miki. she definitely Miki. claims it yeah you know and and, and bar he's just all like, like really pissed off still i think we, we played that clip last week of uh bar complaining about men mm, um Riley and they're still carrying on that same talk is still you know all over the the slums they're still chatting about it and bitching about it and kvetching what are we gonna do what are we gonna do maybe we can get Risey to help us in our battle against the <laughs> you know it's just sorry it's just gonna be so good getting watching them get ruled by the sector yeah, well, that's, I mean, it, it's just funny to watch anybody get, you know, kind of torn to bits. But, you know, from... I mean, Ethan uh, Ralph was on Frog Tony's stream the other day. Riley brought him on. Oh, was he? I knew that uh, Ethan yeah. Ralph came on uh, Riley's stream. I didn't know he was on Frog Tony's, too. Yeah. yeah. But, like, uh, uh, from what I heard, I didn't watch it. But from what I heard, the slums did a good showing against Riley. Uh, Riley got uh, winded pretty fast on like Fanatics. <laughs> uh, I guess he wasn't. He didn't. He didn't realize that like uh, these fucks go on like ten hour live streams about nothing, and they they're in it. Yeah, they're uh, in it for the long haul. Man, Finn was streaming all fucking day today. Yeah. It's kind of hard All to outwind. He, outwind he'd been that. streaming for an hour when I woke up, and then he was still streaming at like three or four this afternoon. Fuck that shit. Yeah. I barely make an hour. I can barely do this for an hour with you. Yeah, that's true. I'm already tired of this. Yeah, so we should move along. Get to. No. Uh,. Mr. Dong says, Dark Gift has trouble accepting that people who join on day zero already outrank Dark Gift. True. Yeah. Very true. That's fair. I mean, what has he done? He's just sat there on that fucking stream of his and everybody else's stream and done nothing for well, how many years now? He didn't produce a comic book. He has not produced his own comic book. He's mailed out other people's. Yeah. He yes. definitely didn't finish his comic book but anyways no let's move on so ripperverse is uh gonna do his own fulfillment company called ripper's end <laughs> ripper's end I'm Eric July, the founder and owner of the Ripperverse. when we launched our comic book company in 2022 I took the risk of my life but it what why does he tip his head back so fucking far with his camera right there why does he do anything so... he fucking does like just tip just just move the camera up just a little bit it doesn't make you look taller dude and also it, shave it... your neck <laughs> i'm feeling kind of a little catty tonight sorry yeah uh harry petulant says john de la rose was kung fu fighting those little fists were fast as lightning in fact, it was a little bit frightening when he hit his love with expert timing. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> That's nice a good one. Though. 
Yeah, that's a good one. It wasn't an uneducated risk. We've had three campaigns over a million dollars, and that's three. due to us doing tons of research. A lot He's of that research now, had to do with analyzing the industry standards from content to distribution. And quite frankly, we couldn't make sense of a lot of it. So we did things differently. We handled everything ourselves as a new company from the website functionality to the fulfillment. All of it was in-house, and we've learned a lot along the way. We know what works, and we know what doesn't, and we are not afraid <laughs> change and improvement. If you've kept up with my videos, you know that many people ask me if we'll ever publish non-reverse things. <laughs> Evie Variety would have asked this question several months. I was wondering if the answer changed. Are you interested in bringing uh, on outside series to the Riververse? I've always said that I believe our contribution would be more so in helping fulfill because it's the most pressing issue. And now mm -hmm. that we have everything down, I'm I proud to announce our next venture too. called Ripascent. A while oh. ago, he was denying that he was going to be doing, he was going to open a fulfillment service. Yeah. But, but what, what got me, like, like right at the beginning, right off the tip, when he's like, we've done all this research and there's nobody filling this hole. What do you tell, there's fulfillment companies. There are fulfillment companies all over the place. Yeah, right? like the one that and like uh, wants... fucked Zach, and that's funny. But there's yeah, good that, ones that too. Dynamite, sure, but but also um, Indiegogo has a has a company that they work with for for uh, shipping for fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Kickstarter, that Zoop, fuck Zoop will help you get your fucking book printed too, yeah, and sent out. Like, he's not the only one doing this. You got Critical Blast. Yeah, Critically right? Butt Blasted. Faggot. You know, RJ's doing it. Yeah. Um, Piece of there shit. There are plenty of... You could do it... You could do it through fucking Amazon, even. You don't even have to go on there. You don't even have to put your shit on their site. They have a fulfillment service. Hmm. Like, this is not, you know... He, there's no, there was no hole. Yeah, but I mean, which would you rather do, Vicky? Lick, lick the taint of Jeff Bezos, or lick the taint of Eric July? Probably Jeff Bezos. I bet he showers. I'd never have to meet Jeff Bezos. It was a joke. I know. It was a joke, Vicky. It was a bad. Full scale hosting and fulfillment service under the Ripperverse Publishing brand. A glaring hole in the independent comics market is with fulfillment and delivery of product. New forms of funding, such as crowdfunding, have lowered the barrier for entry, and that's great. The downside is that you have a lot of people that don't necessarily understand the business, over-promising and realizing very quickly that they're in over their heads, and that's where Ripperson comes in. It's gonna be really, what? really funny when he finds out that he's in way over his head. Hey, what, what, what are the... Uh... What, what, uh, god damn it. I just fucking lost my train of thought. Hmm. But what are they, what is, what is this? These, these pitfalls, right? Like mostly with crowdfunding, the, the over promise, that was, that was the word he used. Make over promising. Over promising what? He's not talking about over promising stretch goals, right? Which, honestly is the biggest over promise that happens to a campaign right he's talking about over promising delivery because that's all he fucking cares about delivering it on time well if your book is finished before the funding why fund it's the whole point of crowdfunding is you crowdfund to do the project. Granted, I believe it's possible in time after a couple of books under your belt, you should have your books finished before you crowdfund so that you're basically crowdfunding to produce the, f the next book and not the one that's actually on the page. But, you know... But not everybody can be what, Tim just, and Mark. You know, that's... Well, Kevin Strange does it. Well, yeah, no, I was just like, uh, shout out to, to Tim and Mark. That's all I was doing. Shout out to Tim and Mark. Exactly. Oh. 
but reason what? like That's... more than reasonably priced uh hardbacks uh literally like like half the price of most people if most not people's floppies yeah and it's a hardback and it comes out $5 like $5 shipping yeah and it's going to be there like a month a month and a half after you've backed it so yeah fuck everybody else I mean, and talk about let's let's talk about over promising. Yara, Yaira, was supposed to supposed to be available last year. Not just winter. He had said he was going to put out three books last year, and he only did two. Yaira was supposed to be the third. So now it's winter. So they are going to he's going to launch the campaign on the eleventh of march because then he will have one week left of winter and he can still say it's a yaira winter when he's gonna send it in the fucking spring uh could somebody tell so let's talk about over promising could somebody tell hen that Hmm? she sounds like a vicky campaign and to knock it off Uh, next thing you know (laughs) she's gonna be talking about late books knock it off your comic skate hen he doesn't know anything about about what actually what pitfalls there are for real crowdfunding because he wasn't doing crowdfunding. He was doing a pre-sale. Yeah. All right. There are publishers and distributors, but what we're trying to do is far different. We understand the comic book industry and can handle any volume. Our goal Understand is to assist it. the independent scene and those creatives that want to remain largely independent and sell directly to their customers. Ripasend is not a crowdfunding platform that's open to the public. Look at it more like mm. a network that certain clients will have access to. You'd fill out our application <laughs> online, we'd make sure that this is something that makes sense for you, and then we'd give you a unique quote with pricing that's tailored to you and your needs. Each client will be different, right. which is why we'll work with select people or companies. How do you get a quote when you haven't even funded? like? Are they going to, they're just going to tell you per book? Well, what if you have a really small fucking, you know, campaign? Well, it's probably, to be fair, it's not for those people, probably. I know, I know, I know. Then why bother fucking announcing it this way? Oh, sure, it'll be, you know, he makes it, first he makes it sound like it's available to, to anybody because he's helping the independent scene. No, you're not helping the independent scene. You're helping your fucking friends. And people that you know are going to have big, huge sales, like Critical Drinker, who's his first announced client, right? Who was RJ's. RJ did his fulfillment for his last one. And now he's going to be doing Critical Drinker's next book, right? The last crowdfund made $107,000. So those are the people he's fucking talking about. He's not helping the indie scene. Yeah, no, definitely not. He's 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 helping YouTubers. He's not going to be helping the tail end of that distribution. Yeah, people but... People that really need help. No, They're no, no. Those actually... people don't need help, and they should be fulfilling themselves. Well, yeah. I, I mean, mean, that's but, what it is. Know, that's what it is. Those are the people that struggle more than the fucking people. Yeah, they just need you know. advice. <laughs> like, that's yeah. what those people need. Right. Uh, but also, like, uh, Eric July's not doing anything that no uh, other fulfillment company couldn't be doing for those big YouTubers. So there's that, and and all those big fucking dude. If if you made a hundred and seven thousand dollars on your last crowd fund, why don't you have your own fucking website? That's also that's a fair point. Why don't you have your own website? No, they, because they all want to. They all want to bite off of Eric's. What you're paying for is Eric's audience and the members to his fucking website. That well, that's all. I mean, well, right? that's a. Mm-hmm. That's a fair yeah. thing to want to <laughs> be, be yeah, buying but, access to. But his audience isn't interested in fucking critical drinkers book. His audience isn't interested in anybody else's book. They're only buying Eric's book because it's fucking Eric's book. Yeah, but they, I mean. Half of his sales are merch. Yeah. I mean, you never know. Like a, like a, an, an amount, uh, like a boost amount is better than no boost amount unless i mean the price might not be to, worth it like uh, maybe you're paying so much and it's not gonna equal out what you get access to uh, i mean we'll have to wait and see uh i i doubt that this is gonna 
be very good for anybody. Not even, especially not Eric July. This is a. This seems dumb. There are two different primary types of clients that Rip Ascend is going to be perfect for. Number one, you're a great creative. Perhaps you've built a decent following, but the business and fulfillment side is difficult to understand or it bores you and you don't want to deal with it. You Bore just you. want to create. Rip Ascend can take care of that entire project. We'll give you your own unique URL on our site and you can even have the campaign format where your customers can purchase. We'll keep you up to date with detailed reports and all, and the clients that want us to take care of everything will get access to our internal team, which can assist you with other things, such as pricing your items and ensuring that you get the largest return. You're also going to be able to utilize our vendors and suppliers, so if you need help getting a book printed or you want to get a shirt, we can take care of that for you. You're going to be able to take advantage of some Ripperverse pricing, which is gonna be far cheaper than no, if you, you did it yourself. Hmm? No, you can't. As far as your products go, there's no taking advantage of Ripperverse pricing. The pricing, he gets his pricing because he's doing these huge fucking print runs from his printer, right? If yeah. you're not printing that many fucking books, then you're not getting that pricing. Yeah, the more volume you're putting you in, the better deal you're gonna get. Like, you can't, you can't tack. He couldn't say like do his his books and and tack in critical drinkers book as like being you know more volume because every time that there's a separate charge, it's considered a separate print run well, when yeah, you have a new books. fucking print file. Yeah, the different books. So what? You know, if if they're if his T-shirt vendors giving him pricing for a thousand fucking T-shirts, and some dude only needs two hundred, they gonna give him the same price? No. Well, you don't know that. It's highly doubtful. I mean, I don't know that. You don't know the business. I will say it's. I will say it's highly doubtful that that will happen. You don't know the business. You don't know his deals. That's a every Eric July stand, the, by the way. Every Eric July thing, stand. The only thing he's going to get a, that you might get a cut on is shipping. And from what I understand and from what I've seen from people on Twitter, the, the cost of shipping actually went up after Isom won, mm. even though we had shipping deals. Yeah. Especially with shipping. And of course, once your <laughs> items are ready, we'll receive them at one of our warehouse locations, store, pre-package, and then ship to our customers, and that means we'll be handling the customer service aspect of it for you too. The other main type of client would be someone that just wants to use Ripasend to host their store and fulfill their items. We can do that too. Of course, there will be those hybrid clients as everybody needs something different, and that's the point. Our main requirement is that we'll only pick up projects God, where the company or individual creative. This fucking thing. This is yeah, awful. yeah. See, Vicky Smeag Peak says, "Vicky, you don't know the business." Yeah, tell her, Smug. Hi, Smeag Peak. You tell her, dumb bitch. Has their <laughs> stuff together. <laughs> they need to be well beyond the proof of concept phase. Being a part of the Ripascend network is going to benefit a lot of clients, all of the clients actually, because at minimum, <laughs> all of the, clients. the coach is going to understand. It's going to benefit a lot of clients, all of the clients still, actually. He's still like, pretending okay. it's fucking crowdfunding. It has to be well beyond the proof of concept stage. So you need to have a fucking book? Is that what you're saying? Well, hopefully you have the, a book. Yeah, I, I mean, at the end you would have a book but that's not crowdfunding. Well, I mean, some people, it is. Like, they have the book already, you know? Like the, Very. The, if they're PhD. smart. We talked about this already. But, uh, but yeah, it, it'll, <laughs> it'll benefit a lot of clients. All of the clients, actually. Understand that and they if, are going to get the product. If he's accepting a client who doesn't have a completed book, how is he going to ensure that they have an overpromised on a delivery date? That's a good point. There's a lot of things that have not been worked out. 
that they paid for and it will be within a reasonable time frame. This is why Ripasend won't be for everybody. We want the independent and alternative scenes <laughs> to thrive. So we're not here to hold our clients hostage. This is why even though in the literal sense, we'd be publishing other people's work, I don't think calling Ripasend a publisher is entirely accurate. We want to teach you accurate. the ropes. Accurate. Accurate. Guys, guys, he's like I, you know, I hate those streams, uh, those Eric July streams where people just make fun of nonsense. But he said accurate. Is entirely <laughs> accurate. accurate. We accurately. want to teach you the just, ropes and help you grow. <laughs> and maybe at some point in the future, you'll no longer even need Ripasen. That's okay. Let your wings fly. But we're here to help and we want to grow a reliable network of creatives and projects where customers don't feel like they're playing the lottery if they support a campaign. Let us take the more complicated things off of your hands so you have the time to go be great. So if you're an independent creative and Ripasend is something that interests you, head over to Ripasend.com for more detailed all right, well. a reasonable time frame. This is why Ripasend won't be for everybody. We want the independent and alternative scenes to thrive. So we're not here to hold our clients hostage. This is why even though in the literal sense, we'd be publishing other people's work, I don't think calling Ripasend a publisher is entirely accurate. Accurate. <laughs> why, like, why pronounce it like that? Accurate. I don't know. It's a weird one. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just read some chat. Uh, we got Colonel Morg saying, Smeeg in the house. Uh, and he's going to pull up on Vicky for not knowing business. <laughs> I wish weird. Smeeg would pull up on me. Gross. <laughs> Gross. No. Come on, Vicky. You're welcome, Dean. Gross. Uh, Hargrave says, I hear Eric is going to have a swap meet stand soon. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Eric July eats, sleeps, and says bullshit. Unfinished books aren't going to be Eric's problem as long as he gets a chunk of campaign money. Wendy says, who thinks he'd be doing this if he weren't desperate? It's nonsense. And yeah, it is nonsense. And it's, it's probably not going to... Uh, be very, very uh, profitable out, for him. He so. put out two books last year. Imagine, imagine how much time those where those two warehouses spent fucking empty. Yeah, not doing shit. Uh, Hurricane paying, uh, paying people in an empty fucking warehouse. Hurricane Stankley or Chris Stanley says accurate. Yes, accurate. It's just weird. Hargrave says, uh, maybe he meant Acura. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're not calling them a publishing business. Calling them a publishing business isn't uh, necessarily Acura. That does make a little more sense. Um, it does. It does. Uh, Chris Stanley says, be great, everyone. Unless you're not. And that's okay. <laughs> most of you aren't. It's okay um, to not be great. Because most of you aren't. In fact... Pretty much none of you are. Just want to point that out. You all suck. Uh, except Hominus Nocturna. Good to see you. Not entirely accurate. So it's accurate. Just not entirely. But accurate at the end of the day. Accurate. Yeah. But not accurate. if you're on the detractor list. Hmm. It's really fun watching CG slip beneath the waves while Eric bores holes into his own boat. I wonder who picks up the fl the flotsam? Flotsam. What's what's mm -hmm. a flotsam? Garbage. Oh. All right. Well, you learn something new every day. Yeah, flotsam. The flotsam's what's left when the it's the shipwreck that floats all the shit that floats to the top. Oh, okay. Floats. Yeah. After the good ship Ripa sinks. Let your wings fly? Question mark says Wendy. Hargrave says. We know Wendy. He 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 has a real problem with turns of phrase, and he's he's not very good at it. Yeah, I'm not old. Okay, my generation says what the fuck they mean, old no. people. 
I wasn't talking about you. Oh, Come okay. On. Yeah. Well, fuck you, you still, too. people. Yeah. And you're old, Vicky. Shut up. I'm embarrassed yeah, now. Too. Shut up. No. <laughs> Uh, Weez be publishing, yo. Backing comics is gambling. <laughs> uh, floatsum and jetsum. Yes. I don't, I don't know what jetsum is. <laughs> Thanks, Hominus Nocturna. It's not my best night. I don't know, I don't know <laughs> things. Uh, I love the word detractor now. I use it all the time. Yeah. Now, uh... It's a term of endearment in my Discord now. Yeah. Yeah, Just kidding. so is, go fuck yourself, Vicky, I hate you. It's my favorite term of endearment. It is, I hear it every day. And I fucking mean it, I hate you. He uh, does. But yeah, this Ripa's End thing seems really fucking dumb. Ripa's End. Ripa's End. Ripa's End. Flotsam, not floatsam. Yeah, Vicky, learn how to pronounce it, <sighs> am I right? All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm on OTC co cold medicine, man. Ish. Fuck, it's been a day. <laughs> so, uh, we got the Scouts comics. So, yeah, the Scouts comics. It started with this tweet from uh, Jared Lujan. Um, if you're a new creator, please avoid Scout comics like the plague. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the last time we talked about Scott Scout Comics. Dean may not even remember. I do not. Um, I do not. You do not. Let's tie this all back to Rennie. <clears throat> oh. When Rennie was having difficulty with the printer down in Florida, the one that she picked up her uh, fucked up books from and never checked them, right? And they were taking forever to get her her books redone because it wasn't a priority because they were just doing her, uh, basically doing her a favor because uh, they weren't really responsible, but they were going to do it anyway. PTP <laughs> God, floated the idea that um, Scout Comics was the owner of the printer. And they didn't like Comics Gate. And that's why Rennie's book was being fucked with. Remember, Mr. Dongs did a write up on Kiwi Farms and Ethan just fucking ran with it and then he had to delete the entire tweet thread? No, I don't. Oh, man, it was so good. Yeah, it was part of the whole Rennie printing kerfluffle with Scout Comics. And they're this independent. Uh, sort of like Image, it's a creator-owned publishing house. Um, they've been pretty big. They're really well-known, lots of books. Uh, but apparently this has been going on for a couple of years, right? And nobody's, and it hasn't percolated up too much into the public. So uh, Jared continues, haven't paid me for a book out over a year, won't answer emails, we delivered a completed, profitable book and still got screwed. Spoke to the editorial director, and he implied we'd be blacklisted for complaining. CEO came in acting like he'd help, and now he's ghosting us, too. It's like that at the top, you know, why everything else sucks. I've tried for a year to work with these people, and it's clear that they have no intention of working with us. Nothing resembling a partnership. I got a single statement about book sales and not a single one since. Can't promote books, can't pay creators, but they got a full at whatnot scheduled. My last email a month ago was, hey, can you just cancel our contract and we can move past the money you owe me? And they still didn't answer. That would have cost zero dollars for whatever that's worth. So they've been um, really fucking around with people over there, right? Which led to this creator, um, Kayarn, I'm going to totally butcher her name, their name. They did the same to us on our titles too, refused to cancel contracts and willing, willingly sat on stock, refusing to sell it and even removed it from their store. So bizarre 
none of them know what they're doing. Uh, then you have uh, Matthew Ehrman from Long Lost, uh, is his book also with Scout, um, their breakout comic. And it's no longer a Scout comic title as of today. And this was February 29. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't count because it's a leap year day. I don't know. After we mutually agreed to part ways and terminate the publishing contract. So I think they had that for over a year. That um, that particular book and, and just sat on it. And then they uh, issued a statement. Scout yeah. Comics did. After all of I mean, this just spread all over um, certain portions of Twitter. Nobody in Comicsgate has mentioned it. Uh, I was surprised Ethan didn't bring it up because it's, you know, it's that um, hated SJW, blah, 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 go woke, go broke. Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, read the, uh, the, the statement that was made. It says, uh, Scout started as, as end remains a company created by and for creators. We love comics. We love reading comics because we're nerds and gay. We're gay nerds making comics and publishing comics for other creators who are also gay nerds. We love the comic community. Uh, well, Scout has always strived to maintain, a to maintain high levels of service to our teams of gay nerds. Recently, a creative team expressed their frustration publicly due to having not had a response to their concerns in several months. This is true. We dropped the ball by failing to respond in a timely manner to these gay nerds. We take full responsibility <laughs> for our lack of response at the time due to internal miscommunication with gay nerds. Regardless, we will continue to strive to do better and improve communication with all of our creators of gay nerds. Despite the complaints we have seen online, Scout has had very few creators reach out to us directly with concerns. We have actually had several creators of gay nerds reach out in support, which we appreciate. We, we love you, gay nerds. As with all businesses, there will be missteps. The most important thing is to learn. At this time, we are openly welcoming any creator of gay nerds with a title at Scout Comics to reach out to our COO, Lessa? Is that Lessa? I've never seen that name. It's not Lisa, because that would be an I. Anyway, she's a gay nerd. At, <laughs> at gaynerd.miller at scoutcomics.com with any concerns they may have. All concerns will be listened to, and all inquiries will be responded to in a timely manner, unless you're like a mega gay nerd. As creators ourselves, we understand uh, the issues that have been presented to us. Thank you for your patience and grace while we endeavor to learn from the feedback we are receiving from you gay nerds. <laughs> All right. One of the guys, I, I believe it was um, a first, first gentleman, uh, had tweeted, or somebody else from Scout had said, yeah, Jared, I think, um, retweeted this and said, everybody was CC'd on every email throughout this entire process. Yet, they, quote, dropped the ball. Yeah. Uh, Morg says, these gay nerds be so bad at business. They should buy more warehouses. <laughs> oh man but yeah it's been this has been going on for like two years now but i guess you know when you it may be like a year before they print your your 
book to begin with once you sign the contract and uh you know and then they charge you for shit too one of the creators um i what was their name uh chagan um said that Scout Comics offered to terminate their publishing contract, but only if they paid them $75,000 to cover the cost of a print run they never asked for. That's funny. Right? Yeah. It's it's sounding like n- nobody knows what they're fucking doing over there. Yeah, and you gave Rini a hard time, Vicky, and, and it was really this company's fault. You should apologize. They had nothing to do. They didn't have anything to do with the printing company. It was just the company that printed their books. Oops. That was the only connection. So they did they have something to do. Okay. Oh just... my god, they had nothing to do with wow. Remy being a dumb fuck and not wow, checking Vicky. her books before she left the printer. Mm, mm. <laughs> just, can't sorry, even apologize. I can't. can't even I refuse apologize. to fuck. I, I refuse to let that go. Yeah. I. I You're I not even not good at business. Sit- or long division. Not, I, I would be much better. I would have been much better at business. I would have checked those books before I left that fucking parking lot. You wouldn't have been able to divide those books numbers of books week. by two or five. <laughs> yeah, that's an older reference. <laughs> I could do two or five. It's twenty-five that would. Yeah, twenty-five me. would have been the long division. You're right. Twenty-five would have been the long division. Send me your business. <laughs> You're 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 not even spelling it right, Hen. It's B I D N E S S. It's business. I will print and distribute within a month. It's not well, bloody well, hard. She give Hen some cuts Hen some slack. She's British. Oh yeah, it's not her fault. She speaks wrong. She's on the other side of the pond. It's not her fault. She speaks wrong and writes wrong and. Exactly. Yeah. Love you, Hen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Uh, let's uh let's go ahead and wrap this up. I do want to see uh how, do you guys like Ethan as the blob? As <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 the that's X-Men. That's the that's blob. I know it is. I just uh, or do you feel like it's not very accurate for how big, asking. how big, uh, uh, Ethan actually is? What's up, Finn, my little angel? Yeah, I hope you're watching us, Finn. I would hope we so. We watch you. I actually don't. I don't. He doesn't. He doesn't. I don't. I watch. I sometimes turn the volume off, but I do watch. I do not. But anyways, guys, we love you, except most of you, except all of you. (laughs) Except all of you. Uh, Thanks for showing up, guys.